Hello everyone, welcome back to Simply Nicole. Thanks for tuning in. It is so hot in the car. I have on a bandeau top, but I'm holding my camera today. I am actually on the road today, but like I told you guys, the difference between those that make it and those that don't are, you know, despite their circumstances, they make a choice every day to get up and do the things that they dream of. So I'm coming on here to serve you guys with another video. I gotta get some air. Hopefully you guys can still hear me. Yeah, hopefully y'all can hear me. Um, so today I want to talk about a, a little an aspect of self love. I have been looking on TikTok recently. I've been on TikTok, um, and I made a whole video about you know my thoughts on TikTok. But you know the app is addicting, and but I do it, you, I do find things on there that give me information to kind of educate me and inform me on kind of the life experiences of those in my demographic which is just great research for me it gives me things to think about and things to create content with so i i noticed on tiktok there's kind of this a lot of times i'll see women talking about their experiences using dating apps and kind of how they're tired of it and they don't really find quality men on these dating apps and I just kind of wanted to step in and give my perspective and say you know I just think it's fine if you want to date if you're interested in dating personally I don't I've never been the dating app route I would rather meet someone organically you guys I just how can you look at someone on a through a screen and trust that I definitely would not go on a date with someone that I met either on a dating app or real life before I spoke to them on the phone a few you know a good amount of times to see if there's something there before I just go on a date with you but I just really don't I just really want us as young women to not put that energy out that energy of I want to go on a date I want to go on a date I want to date so badly it's okay to want to but I think to attract really what's meant for you though naturally and not in a forced way is just to let it naturally come and really work on yourself because I don't think a lot of people understand just from the research I've done that once you start dating and find someone to get into a relationship your life is now intertwined with someone else's and it's no longer just about you the time that you have now though you can be selfish and you can focus on you i think sometimes people get into this fairy tale idea of what it's like to date and it's just so great and amazing what it is i'm sure to get to know someone but you're also intertwining your life with someone else which is not easy all the time unless you have really unless you really know yourself if you want to be in a happy whole relationship it won't be easy unless you really know yourself and love yourself and have done the work on yourself and don't be afraid to date yourself as a man or a woman i've seen a lot of people that i look up to on the internet influencers black men and women who are single and in their early to late 20s that explore their city by themselves explore life by themselves they travel start different business ventures they get to know themselves and that's kind of a goal of mine obviously doing it in a you know in a smart way but dating myself getting dressed up for myself why do i have to wait until i'm going on a date to think about wearing a dress getting dressed up doing my makeup that wouldn't even know because then if you wait until then to do it it just if you do it before it actually happens you're more likely to attract exactly what's for you like like what i was saying create a life that you live and create a life that you love so I want to kind of treat myself not all the time but just take myself out treat myself shower myself with love and kind of treat myself the way I would expect a partner to treat me and there, nobody's ever really going to treat you the, the way that you treat yourself is you're already setting the standard for what you will allow what you won't allow so if you take yourself out treat yourself well love yourself self-care you know the person that steps into your life will be able to see that and they shouldn't be bringing anything less than that but if you don't do that and you kind of just sit around feeling sorry for yourself wishing you had someone to enjoy life with even if it's just a friend wishing that feeling like you can't do the things you want to do go out experience nice things explore even within your city feeling like you can't do that 
because you don't have a partner or a significant other or feeling like the experience wouldn't be as rewarding because you're doing it alone. No, I don't do that. Don't have that mindset. I just, that's not a good mindset. Always feel comfortable being alone. Take advantage of your alone time. And even for me, recently, I mean, not recently, but I, I go, I mean, I live by myself. Well, I have roommates, but I live, you know, by myself on, on my own. So I, sometimes I go to restaurants alone. I'll go to a restaurant and sit at the bar alone. And it's a very liberating experience. I just to get to be present. I don't have to hear what anybody else may be saying. It's just good alone time. That is good quality time. If some of you y'all's love language might be quality time, but how do you expect a partner or someone that you're dating to come into your life and treat you, shower you with quality time, but you don't know how to give that to yourself and vice versa? How do you expect to know how to love someone with quality time or, or with gifts or words of affirmation? You can do all these things with yourself as well, though. So please don't forget if you are whatever age you are male or female if you are interested in dating that's fine that's great that's normal that's natural but i don't want people to forget about loving yourself first treating yourself first and not seeking that outside validation and love from someone externally because it will never work it will always be broken if the foundation isn't secure with you internally uh, like I said, there's no problem with dating. I think it's great to get dating experiences. But there's a certain way you can go about it. You don't always have to jump on an app. You can just trust you, focus on you. This is kind of my mindset. Trust you, focus on you, trust God's timing. The person for you will naturally flow into your life and you won't get so burned out about dating. You won't make it, you won't feel like, oh, I got to go on this date. Oh, I got to go, you know, get this dating app and find someone to go out with. No, dating is supposed to be a, a fun. I haven't experienced much dating, but from the research I've done, and I, I believe as well, and I agree, dating is supposed to be fun. You're getting to know someone. You're being a great conversationalist. You're, you're not constantly anxious about the fact that you've met this person, you know, on an app, and they could be talking to many other women, which could be the case either way. But if someone, uh, I just want you guys to think about when you are seeing someone that you met on an app, just think about kind of, think about that. Just actually think about that a little bit. One thing I always tell myself that I, you know, I'm focused on praying more, getting closer to God more. And before I do anything, before I make any major moves, let anyone into my circle, into my spirit, I pray about it. I get still about it and ask God to give me the discernment and wisdom to see who this person really is so that I don't make a mistake. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was inspiring. Thanks for watching and I'll see y'all.